Hello everyone, welcome back to another Thrift Store Finds video. I really wasn't sure how much more I'd be coming on while I'm still playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3, because that has been devouring every bit of free time that I can give to it. Loving the experience. I can't wait. It'll be a few more weeks, probably at least, before I'm done, but uh, that's going to be really fun to talk about on uh, another one of those What I've Been Playing type videos. Uh, but today, I had to come on because I had a really good morning at the thrift store. Just went to one thrift store and... Uh, made out better than I have in a very long time, especially on DVDs. This was definitely a surprise, like really good DVD blowout, and some other stuff as well. So yeah, I've been going to thrift stores and things, but nothing too, like, I gotta come on and show you guys. But today was really good. And uh, a mix of the bargain room and the main room, a little bit of both, and one, I've actually, I've never seen this version of Twin Peaks uh, before. This is the definitive gold box edition on DVD. So that's a really cool version. Never seen this particular box set. Twin Peaks is a weird one for me. You know, I didn't this. I missed it when it was first coming out, uh, and I saw it many, many years later. Enjoyed the first season. Didn't super love it, but it just you know wasn't quite uh, lived. Didn't quite live up to what you know, I liked it, but didn't quite live up to what I thought it was going to be. Uh, so it's a minute of gold box, and then we have the old snapper case release of Fire Walk with Me the movie. And then we have a bunch of, it's a bunch of box sets, some really cool stuff from BBC Video, The Singing Detective. It's a complete box set with bonus features. Uh, really nice artwork on this one. I like both the, the inner and outer, even with the, uh, the booklet. A nice fold out. So really pretty box sets and some, some more interesting stuff. And this, the Roger Corman collection, it has eight classic films, eight classic Roger Corman movies on one DVD box set. That's a cool find. And actually recently just sold, uh, I guess like, like five or six months ago now, the Laserdisc version of this, the Beatles Anthology DVD box set. Looks exactly the same uh, as the CD set and the Laserdisc set, and I think even the VHS set has the same general design artwork, but I've never actually seen DVD sets, so it's pretty cool to find. And some Looney Tunes, we have the Spotlight Collection number 7. A nice shimmery cover, some classic Looney Tunes. Uh, this, is, this is cool. On DVD, this is a steelbook of the extended edition of Dune, the uh, David Lynch one, the 80s movie. That's really, really cool. This is another one of those things that's it's a weird one for me. I really like it. It's not everything that it could have been, though. It's, it's kind of this weird thing where, you know, visually, I love it, but it's, it, you know, probably not the right director, good director, but not really the right director for that type of movie. But I love the aesthetic of it. There's some really good things. Interesting. Uh, this is awesome. This one will be for us. This is the first season of Home Improvement. Uh, the classic 90s sitcom, one of the most popular shows of the era, and we don't have season one, so that's cool. And this is, they've been released uh, twice, I think, each season, and then the Complete Series box set's released in a bunch of different regions uh, in the shape of like a toolbox. And the season one set, this is the one that has the cool collector's set where it actually comes apart like a tool set instead of the regular uh, uh, tool case design. So that's really cool. Classic sitcom. Really Nice to see that, and uh, that was the one I was like, I, I gotta grab that for us. And then, uh, some Mystery Science Theater. Don't see that very often. A lot of those volumes, I mean, some of them are out of print and crazy expensive, and there's a few more common ones. I found two box sets today. Uh, this just happened to be, I don't know, I only own one volume on DVD and then the movie, and somehow one of the two that I found was the same volume that I have. Uh, volume 4. So this one includes Space Mutiny Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, A Girl in Gold Boots, and Hamlet. So a few classics, especially um, Overdrawn at the Memory Bank and Space Mutiny among my favorites. If I ever found that rare volume with the final sacrifice on, that I would keep. That's my favorite episode of that show. Uh, and then we have the 25th Anniversary Edition box set as well. Uh, this one includes Moon Zero Two, The Day the Earth Froze, The Leech Woman, Gorgo, uh, which I think is also an Elvira that did Gorgo. Um, then we have a Bonus Disc and The Brain uh, That Wouldn't Die, Mitchell, a whole bunch of different bonus features as well, which are really cool. I think it's one of the things to look out for with this particular set. Uh, that, and there's like a Thanksgiving Day one that's pretty cool. And some weird music finds. 
Uh, don't find a lot as far as music content, and sometimes the problem there were some concerts and things, and I sat there for a little while and looked them up because there's nothing that interests me personally. There would only be stuff for the store, but they were all in the main room, and just wasn't quite enough meat on the bones for what they were asking. You know, some of them were asking five dollars for, which is for a thrift store DVD, it's a little much. Just uh, so one of those things where later this week or maybe next week if they're still around they might end up in the bargain room but there were a couple that were worth picking up never heard of the residents before but two dvds of theirs that were worth grabbing really bizarre i have no idea what that is and then obviously as especially like a 90s kid i know kurt cobain uh, but this is uh, kurt cobain montage of heck and this is just the DVD version. There's a DVD version, a DVD and CD combo, and then I think there's one with like a puzzle or something weird, but uh, this was definitely worth grabbing for like the two dollars that they wanted for it. And then some Criterion, three Criterion releases, another copy of uh, Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. First one was the old snapper case, and this is the uh, two disc, or I think it's two, two or three disc, uh, Criterion DVD box set all the extra features that's really cool and then we have Cronenberg's Videodrome that's a really nice release uh, and a 40 page booklet two disc DVD release so one of those that if you if you want to watch this movie has a great version of it and then Naked Lunch another Cronenberg that there were a lot of these that I feel like came from the same person's collection there was a lot of David Lynch a lot of Cronenberg a lot that there were actually like a bunch more that I didn't pick up because again they wanted like three four dollars a piece and they weren't really ones that I wanted but there were at least between those two directors there were probably 15 or 16 like movies including you know what I grabbed so I think it was all from a, one person's collection and then always exciting when I happen to find a Kino video release out in the wild don't see them very often especially weird stuff this is not stuff that I would typically find if I run across Kino video this is really cool um, I actually want to give this a watch I'm not sure if it's gonna be something I'll be into or not but one of the things you know that's going to thrift store so often that's really cool I can check it out and if it's not something that I like which I'm not sure if it will be then sell it on um, if it is then you know I spent like a couple bucks so uh, this is cool this is the deluxe two disc edition of avant-garde movies it has experimental cinema of the 20s and 30s that seems really really cool uh, just as a curiosity it's a huge list of you know films on the back and it's you know two disc set has the booklet and everything in there and I really enjoy the 20s and the 30s is one of my probably three favorite decades for movies the 30s is amazing so I will see this could be a really cool curiosity I'm just not sure how much I'll be into the avant-garde element of them we will see it could be something super fascinating and like blow my mind and I'm totally into it or I'm just not going to be, it's not going to be on my wavelength, we'll see. One or the other, but definitely one that I have to put on my watch pile and check out. Because uh, that I'm really curious about. And the same thing with this one, like the Eric von Stroheim collection, the deluxe uh, coll collector's edition. It has uh, Foolish Wives, which is a restored version by the American Film Institute, and The Man You Love to Hate, which I've never seen before. And that, that's a feature-length documentary on the life and films of the director so that's a cool collection and again that I might at least want to check this out and the documentary could be cool so both of these Kino video ones are the ones to put on my watch pile just out of curiosity it's one of my favorite things to be able to find things for a couple of bucks down to a couple of pennies and give it's kind of like a, a rental and if I don't like it sell it and make some money uh, then on top of that I also had some more book finds and two VHS finds which were really exciting and bizarrely timed and ironic because uh, I didn't do, I'm still waiting on one thing that's coming today, but I have a couple of additions to our personal collection for movies to talk about and one of them is an RKO collection uh, VHS release, a Cary, Grant, a Cary Grant movie and I really like RKO and I really like the older VHS and Laserdisc releases that have the RKO branded packaging not re-released by like Warner Brothers or whatever um, even if they were released by Warner Brothers having that the RKO you know like logo uh, that type of packaging but I never really find much uh, in the wild never I've never seen any of the RKO 
a VHS line, the ones with the, that red cover. So I bought one for myself, and then for the first time ever, I found two different ones at the thrift store today. Um, neither of the one I got, obviously. I'm still looking for like King Kong and a couple others. I just really think these are really cool. Uh, and I've always wanted this line. It's a very short line with these gold covers and the uh, the red Archeo lettering. There aren't very many that were released, but a lot of cool Archeo classics. And I've always wanted to have some of those if I could find them. Uh, but we had the Bachelor and the Bobby Sox. Uh, the uh, Bachelor and the Bobby Sox are with Cary Grant and Marino Loy. I uh, really like that. I watched this just recently, actually. I rewatched it in one of my Cary Grant uh, DVD box sets, one of the little collections. This is a really fun movie. And then Bringing Up Baby, and this one is still sealed. So with Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant. That is just real, that is really cool. And I, I love the way these look and just having, again, this is released by Turner Home Entertainment in the 90s. And I just love having that RKO collection uh, lettering. I forget how many total were released, but it really isn't very many. Uh, and they're not like rare or anything. I just have never seen them in the wild. I feel like anyone who's buying these that isn't me is probably like 80 years old and they're sitting in their, their den or something. But uh, really cool. Happy to find a couple of those. And then a few book finds for the store. We have Star Wars Tales of the Bounty Hunters. I actually remember reading this when that first came out. Some Glenn Cook. And the Orion Mystery. These were all like bargain room. Uh, this is really cool. New interpretation of the ancient enigma of the pyramids. Uh, always fascinating to look into some of those. One VHS find for the store that was, again, by weight was like pennies, but it's Monsters, Inc. And it's the version with the clear case and the blue VHS. Just nothing too super exciting, but something. Um, some really just, you know, cheap Christmas ornament type things. I sell those sometimes on Etsy. If they have a certain look, they can be, you know, like reused for for crafts or even keep kept as ornament if they're cheap and then one vintage board game every once in a while i pick some up um this one i was unfamiliar with so i actually had to look it up because uh, it you know, definitely was a time period that i find a lot of vintage stuff for board games but didn't know this one in particular it's called the boss doesn't seem particularly interesting looking into what the actual game entails but uh the artwork initially intrigued me at least and it was worth grabbing for a very little bit so that was all this morning, and again, I was just very excited about those DVD finds and those couple of VHS finds, so that's why I wanted to pop on here and talk about that. Hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll see you around.